Hi, everyone. I want to take a moment just to show you a technique for transferring your uh, image from uh, one paper onto another. Um, let me first explain why this is. So I'm going to use an example of an image I have here. Uh, these are just some very rough thumbnail sketches. Here is my issue is that I'm going to finish it on watercolor paper. Now, I don't know. There we go. So if you take a look, you can see watercolor paper has a texture to it. And that texture shows up in the paint. But when I just, if I just start drawing on here, I may end up having to do a fair amount of erasing, which really can ruin this texture. And any sort of, you know, over erasing, or if I can't get the marks to go away, a couple of things. Because of the texture of the paper with watercolor, and because watercolor itself is transparent by nature, all of that will really show that if I ruin the texture with an eraser or my lines will show through the paint. So what I do is I don't actually put my, um, my drawing initially on here. Let me show you what I do. So what I've done is I've taken my initial ideas and instead of drawing it on the good um, watercolor paper, I have first drawn it onto just a, a regular piece of paper. And I've done a bit of a value study, as you can see, uh, trying to make sure where my lights and my main lights and darks are and everything. But I've just drawn it on this paper and I've drawn it accurately, okay? Uh, sometimes I don't necessarily want to put in all those details, but I've done that here. So now, how do I get this drawing onto this paper accurately without having to redraw again and not have to do all the erasing. And that's what I want to show you. So what I do is I'm just going to flip my paper over onto the back and I can even see it here. And I'm going to scribble on the back. Now I have just a regular HB pencil, which is just like your normal pencil. And that can work pretty good. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the side and I'm going to scribble behind every part of my drawing that I need to transfer. So I'm actually going to um, probably uh, go, go to a 2B pencil. So I just scribble over this whole thing. Okay, so I have pretty much scribbled over everything that I feel is important. Let me show you. So it's it's nice and dark, it's it's nice and thick, but you'll notice I, I didn't uh, have to scribble over everything because there's nothing to draw here. So if I turn my page back over, maybe we can even see, yeah, so we can see everywhere that is important. I have the scribble marks behind it, okay? So there's no reason to scribble back there. Now what I'm going to do is put this, take my watercolor paper, and I'm gonna put this on here. Now I can, I don't want this to move at all. So I can tape it or uh, paper clip. Paper clip can sometimes dent the paper. So sometimes I will uh, tape it, um, but I strongly suggest only tape on one side. Don't tape all the way around. And if you can avoid putting tape on the front side of your paper, that is also good uh, because tape can also ruin that texture. Okay, so I have now put tape on the top of my paper and I've only taped it so it goes over the back and I've only taped it at the top in two places so that it's not gonna shift, but I can lift it as well now to be able to take a look at what I've done. I've gone back to my HB pencil because it's a little bit harder. And now I simply trace over my drawing, pressing a little bit hard, but not too hard because again, it is watercolor paper. And if I go too hard, I can actually dent the watercolor paper. And I don't want that. I don't draw in necessarily every detail, 
because I simply don't think it's necessary to draw everything. Some of those details, like the patterns that I had decided to put in here, those should transfer. I mean, those I should be able to draw quite easily without having to, you know, draw them first. I, I, I'm sure I can pull that off, drawing those without having to worry about uh, having to do lots of erasing. So I'm not gonna bother with those. But, you know, I really like the shape of these feet and I want to make sure I get that accurate. Really want to make sure I get the shape of this bird with the big belly. So instead of having to redraw that over and over again, that's worth tracing the bird. But I, I'm not going to bother tracing over every little part of the wing, like all the details in there. And so I go pretty far to everything. So now if I lift this up, you can see, yeah, quite easily that it is transferred here, okay? But you'll notice, I mean, I, I hadn't finished, but uh, there's a couple of things on the bird. I see I forgot his beak for one thing. So that's why you want to be able to lift this so I only keep it one spot, but I can put it back down, make sure it's in the exact same place, and then I can go back again and finish all these other parts. Okay, so we can see here's a little section that didn't quite come through yet. And I can see it's because I actually missed that. So that's not really that big of a deal. But if it was an important area, not a problem. Just scribble back over it. That I could have freehanded. So it's, but if it was something more important that was difficult, so now we can see it's back in there. Okay, and I would just continue doing this through all the important parts. All right, so I've been tracing over this and here is my drawing. And I can go back in and touch this up a little bit. Okay, but I have enough here now to have my drawing now successfully transferred onto my watercolor paper. Okay, so here I am many, many hours later, having finished the entire thing. And um, so, yeah, you can see the, um, you know, the image uh, very accurate. I did want to point out one thing. I do often finish using uh, a fine tip uh, black marker for my details. Uh, that's just my style of illustration. It's fairly common, especially with watercolor. Um, otherwise, if you know, getting those details in with watercolor uh, can be, um, yeah, just a little tedious and, and very difficult. And um, sometimes it can get really muddy and everything. So, um, but yeah, so you can see the nature of the transparency. Um, you can see the texture of the paper, how the watercolor really picks up that texture and enhances that. And so you can imagine if I had had some, you know, dark uh, pencil lines here and then kind of smudged. And if, you know, the surface of the paper had gotten ruined, then that would definitely affect the final piece. So um, I hope that was helpful to you guys. And uh, yeah, blessings on uh, your watercolor paintings.